cracking y'all, hope everybody's well out there. Today we're gonna talk about the new Modbar AV. Now if you don't know Modbar, Modbar makes under-counter machines. They make espresso machines, they make steam wands, they make little pour-over stations, and all of the hot water towers and the boilers and everything live under the counter in these little modular units. So if you have a Modbar espresso machine on your bar, all you see is the group head kind of coming up out of the counter and everything else has disappeared, tucked away. Clean look. Modbar is based out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, but Modbar is part of the La Marzocco family, and as of now, all Modbar sales and service are tracked through La Marzocco USA. A couple weeks ago, we were in Seattle for the annual Specialty Coffee Association Expo. Modbar and La Marzocco invited a few people to their warehouse for this special unveiling of the newest machine that they co-designed and built together, the Modbar AV. Now, at first glance, it basically looks like you have a Modbar that's borrowing some of the technology from the Strata AV ABR most notably drip trays with scales built into the machine. But what they came up with is actually a little bit more involved than that. There's a few things that make it quite a bit of a different machine. Two of those we're gonna focus on today. One of them is what they call drip prediction, and the second one is focusing on temperature stability. Now these aren't the only two new things that are different on this machine. The actual casting is different. The multi-lever control system is new, but these two things are the ones that I thought were the most interesting and kind of most worthy of a video. Let's start with temperature stability. Temperature stability is really challenging in a machine like this because unlike in a traditional espresso machine or a traditional La Marzocco machine where you have the boiler, the group head's bolted directly to the boiler and the whole group is saturated so you have this huge thermal mass. It's easier to control temperature stability than in the standard mod bar situation where you have the boiler under counter and then you have a big long water channel that leads up to the group head. There's this big separation between this huge thermal mass of water and where the water ultimately gets dispensed. So I could try to explain to you how they solve this temperature stability issue, but Scott Guglielmina, who's the head of product development at La Marzocco, he can do a much better job, so just hear from Scott. Scott, tell me what to do. How do you do it? We looked at the fighter plane industry. So fighters are made to be aerodynamically unstable, and then they have a huge control system around them to let the pilot fly them. Old airplanes are incredibly stable, but they can't turn fast. The new modern fighters can turn extraordinarily fast because they're so unstable aerodynamically. A traditional espresso machine uses a big thermal mass of water, heaters on heaters on heaters, in order to stabilize throughout the whole process. Instead of doing that, we went out and said, what if we just play in on instability happening and then find a very precise way to inject temperature just at the right moment, exactly when we need it, using a system similar to the Bruce screw on the Linea Mini. And that lets us be able to be cons incredibly consistent in temperature using an uninsulated tube up to a meter and a half away from the module, always knowing that your temperature is going to be dead on with the same stability as a Linea PB without having to have a big tank on top of the counter. Bro, what the hell is the brew screw? So the brew screw is a coil, uh, kind of like a Healy coil, that we pass water over that forces a long contact surface area between sta heated stainless steel and the water. And that lets us really quickly and efficiently add temperature to the water in a very controlled manner so we can look at thermal units and inject them into the water exactly how we want them in order to stabilize that temperature just as it hits the coffee. Okay, so that's temperature stability. The second thing that they added to this machine is what they call drip prediction. Now, drip prediction is really, really cool. This is the coolest thing about the machine in my mind. So if you look at the scales that are on the machine, they look like, and they in fact are the same scales that they use on the Strata AV ABR. So when you're setting up your ABR type machine from La Marzocco, you program your drip through. And what your drip through is, is the amount of coffee that's gonna travel through the portafilter and out into the cup after the pump has been disengaged. So you turn the pump off, you still have a little bit of espresso that drips down into your cup. So programming your drip through makes sure your machine turns off its pump before you've reached your target output so that with that extra drip through, you'll have the perfect shot. Now, this is a pretty good system and it works really well for us on our machine that we use downtown. It's really accurate. Now, one limitation that a system like this does have is that drip through for different coffees are going to be different. If you have a really dark roast at a certain dose versus a really light roast at a different dose and you're pulling those on the same machine, you're actually gonna want a different program drip through because they're gonna drip through at a different rate. So drip prediction takes care of this and what they've done with drip prediction is basically been able to map out the entire curve of the shot so within 10 seconds into the shot they have the whole shot curve mapped out 
and they're adjusting basically, or the computer is adjusting, the machine is adjusting its drip prediction on the fly tailored to each individual shot. So you can pull any kinds of coffee, any kinds of roast level. You never have to program your offset. It does it inside its computer brain during each shot of espresso. We went through and mathematically modeled thousands of shots of espresso so that we can know how much is gonna come out at every second. We're gonna know by second 10, what second 27 of your espresso is gonna look like. And we know exactly when to stop the espresso in order to hit the end weight that is exactly what you want without having to look at the scales, without having to wonder. It's just there and it works. You could probably save a ton of data from all the shots that you're doing and then you could compare shots with the same inputs and the same outputs, but see what it took to get it there and then assess like what's your occurrence of channeling? What's your occurrence of uneven distribution? When are things going wrong when they should be going right? I think you could use that technology for something like this and it would be really, really useful for a feedback loop. Drip prediction, it's pretty cool. So if you watch this channel, you already know that I'm a big fan of La Marzocco. We've never used anything from Modbar, nor do we have immediate plans to in the future, but I think it's really cool to see these two companies kind of folding into each other and working together on this project and kind of pushing the envelope. That's something that La Marzocco does really well. One thing that I would love to see is an app that can control your temperature settings. So right now on the machines, you menu dive to adjust temperature, to adjust all the little doodads. It would be so cool to have an app that interfaces with the machine via Bluetooth and I could change my boiler temperature just on the phone. I'm sure you're working on it. If you're not, work on it. Do it. I know you will. I know you will. I trust you. Huge shout out to the crews of La Marzocco and Modbar. I think it's a really awesome collaboration. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for the presentation. Scott, thanks for taking the time to talk with me after the presentation. Hope this was useful. If anybody out here has used the new Modbar or used the existing Modbar, I'd love to know what you think. How do you like it? How does it work for you? How do you feel, man? How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside? Or what? Let me know in the comments section and stay dialed and I will catch you on the flip side.